Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Dinatullah from the Sai Mehta Institute, Koti, Hyderabad. So in this video, we are going to see the weightage and the 10 days preparation strategy for the subject mathematics over here. What we are going to see, we are going to see the first weightage. What is the weightage of the mathematics in the exam, ESET examination, okay. After covering that part, after covering the weightage, I am going to tell you about what is the 10 days preparation strategy. 10 days preparation strategy means sir, how we can score 30 plus, 35 plus, 40 plus marks if you are preparing in this 10 days, okay. So first we will go with the weightage each and every topic, okay. For particularly for each and every topic, we have to discuss about the weightage. After completing the, uh, that weightage part, I uh, will explain you which topics we have to cover first, which topics you have to cover it later. So in that way, we can easily score 30 plus marks, 35 plus marks if you are practicing if you are practicing the topics in this 10 days okay so first we'll go with the weightage of all the topics if you're starting with the matrices part what is the first topic matrices so in this matrices you can easily see over here it is of four to five marks okay it is of four to five marks easily you can score four to five marks from the matrices topic what is the second topic partial fractions and the logarithms if you're seeing this part partial fractions is one topic logarithms is one topic so if you are uh, taking this two topics partial fractions and logarithms means uh, you will get minimum of two marks from this two, uh, two topics and the maximum of uh, three marks minimum two marks maximum three marks in the matrices also minimum how many marks you are getting in the single topic itself four marks you are getting from the matrices and maximum means you can get uh, five marks okay now next part trigonometry in this trigonometry means how many marks we are getting 10 to 11 marks minimum means minimum you can get 10 questions from this topic this topic means it is of related trigonometric functions will be there compound angles multiples and sub multiples transformations inverse trigonometry complex numbers is also included included in this topic okay so if you are discussing about this topic trigonometry means minimum 10 marks will be there and the maximum 11 marks will be there from this topic okay now later on next topic analytical geometry analytical geometry means how many marks we are having five to six marks okay now if you are starting with the calculus part over here differentiation in this differentiation how many marks we are getting differentiation means eight to ten marks but differentiation will be starting from what functions and limits functions and limits will be of two marks okay functions and limits then after that we are having first order derivatives second and higher order derivative partial derivatives applications of derivatives also if you are covering all these topics in this differentiation then you are getting eight to ten marks minimum of eight marks marks you are getting and maximum of 10 marks okay now later on next topic what is the next topic over here integration in this integration also if you are perfect in the differentiation means easily you can solve the problems of the integration also how many marks you are getting in the integration in integration means it is 7 to 8 marks 7 to 8 marks means minimum you can easily score 7 marks and maximum of 8 marks okay so after completing this integration how many questions we are getting from this differential equations if you're seeing this differential equations topics means uh, we are getting the questions of seven to eight seven to eight questions we are getting from this differential equations topic okay minimum of seven maximum of eight questions okay now next part laplace transforms five to six minimum five questions maximum six questions from this topic then last uh, four year series from this four year series means uh, compulsory we are getting two questions uh, if you're seeing seeing the analysis uh, of all the previous question papers of all the previous question papers means compulsory it is giving two questions from this four year series sometimes it will give one question also but maximum times maximum times it is giving compulsory two questions from the four year series okay so this was the weightage actually this was the weightage of the particular topics matrices means four to five marks partial fractions and logarithms two to three marks trigonometry 10 to 11 analytical geometry 5 to 6 differentiation 8 to 10 integration 7 to 8 then differential equation 7 to 8 laplace transform 5 to 6 similarly four year series it is also two marks okay so this was the weightage weightage of all the topics now let us go for what is the 10 days preparation strategy what is 10 days preparation strategy now how we have to think how we have to think we are only having the 10 days in this 10 days how we can score 30 plus marks how we can score 35 plus marks how we can score 40 plus marks also in this 10 days preparation itself okay now let us go on so if you are seeing this part, in the first topic itself what we are having matrices and matrices it is consisting of what 4 to 5 marks, it is consisting of 4 to 5 marks. So as it is a single topic matrices, it will be easy also and it will be interesting also, the questions will be easy as well as interesting. So first topic 
which you have to select whenever you are starting these topics, whenever you are starting the mathematics subject. So, first you have to go with the matrices topic. If you are starting with the matrices means you can compulsory score 4 to 5 marks in the matrices topic itself. Understood? How many marks we are scoring in the matrices? 4 to 5 marks, minimum 4 marks, then maximum 5 marks from the matrices. Okay? First, let us write over here. First will be matrices. You have to start with the matrices and this is of 5, 4 to 5 marks. So, 4 to 5 marks from the matrices. Okay, this part is completed. Now, second, after completing the matrices, if you are sure in the matrices topic, you can say that guarantee I will get the 4 to 5 marks in the matrices topic means then let us go for the partial fractions and the logarithms. Why we are going for the partial fractions and the logarithms? Why we are going for the partial fractions and the logarithms? Because in this partial fractions, we are having only less models. 10 to 12 models are there in the partial fractions as well as in the logarithms. So as it is very simple topic and as well as it is easy topic also, compulsory, surely we can score this 2 to 3 marks from this topic also. From this topic also. Understood? So first we have to go with the matrices. Second we have to go with the partial fractions, partial fractions and the logarithms, then we can score this part as 2 to 3 marks from the partial fractions and the logarithms, okay. This is very important, listen here carefully. So, which topics you have to cover first. Now, after this, what we are doing means, after completing, after being perfect in this matrices and the partial fractions and the logarithm, how many marks you can score? 4 plus 2, 6 marks, 6 marks easily you can score, okay. Now, next, trigonometry, coming to trigonometry, after completing matrices and the partial fractions and the logarithms, which topic you have to select? You have to select a trigonometry. Why we are selecting trigonometry means, after trigonometry, you have to go for differentiation as well as integration. We have to go for differentiation and integration. So, before going for this topic, because this differentiation and integration you can see the weightage over here what is the weightage 8 to 10 marks and 7 to 8 marks are there so if you want to start this topic means in the differentiation as well as integration also there is the application of trigonometry there is the application of trigonometry means we have to use the formula of trigonometry in differentiation as well as integration so first what we are covering we are covering the trigonometry part so in this trigonometry part also we are having some number of topics over there trigonometric functions are there compound angles multiples and submultiples uh, transformations inverse trigonometry is there complex numbers are there we are having number of topics in the trigonometry but but if you are going topic wise if you are going topic wise already we have uploaded the videos topic wise and we are having the practice sets also as well as we are having the self test also if you are completing that all practice sets as well as self test then it will become very easy for completing this trigonometry topic understood what you have to do you have to complete all the practice sets before going for the practice set first you should know the somewhat basics somewhat basics means the formula okay you should know the formula if you know the formula and if you know the basic procedure how to start the question itself if you know how to start the question itself means uh, then you can go for the practice sets first you have to complete the practice sets then go for the self test also already the self test uh, are available in the app okay so you have to complete that self test so, after completing this trigonometry topic, okay, after completing this trigonometry, trigonometry will be of how many marks? 10 to 11 marks. It is of 10 to 11 marks. So, after completing this trigonometry directly, we can start differentiation and integration. Differentiation and integration. So, in this differentiation, how many topics we are having again? We are having with, uh, we are starting with functions and limits actually. Functions and limits, first order derivative, second and higher order derivative, partial derivative, applications of derivatives. But functions and limits means in the limits topic itself, we have, uh, we are having some models for that part. Okay. For the limits topic, we are having certain models. If you are completing that models, if you are completing that standard limits, then by seeing the question itself, you can write the answer. You can write the direct answer within less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds, you can solve the questions of the limits, functions and limits, which is included in this differentiation. Okay. So, first complete that functions and limits topic. After that, if you are perfect in first order derivative, after functions and limits, what you are starting? You are starting first order derivative. In that first order derivative, already we have given you all the TSRs. 
Yes or no? Time saving results are there, shortcuts are there. If you are using the TSRs, if you know all the concepts of the first order derivative, if you are in, if you are perfect in the first order derivative means, then second order derivative, partial derivative, applications of derivative will become very easy for you. You can easily score 8 to 10 marks from the differentiation chapter also. You can easily score 8 to 10 marks from the differentiation chapter. But you should know all that formulae. The formula of the differentiation is very easy. If you are remembering, if you are applying some trick for that part, if you are applying some concept for that part, if you are remembering all the formula of the differentiation, because the formula of the differentiation, it will be helpful in integration also. No need to revise or remember again the formula of integration. If you know the formula of the differentiation, compulsory you will get automatically the formula of the integration also. Is it clear? So after completing the trigonometry part, what you are taking? You are taking differentiation. Differentiation. So in this differentiation, how many marks? 8 to 10 marks. 8 to 10 marks you have taken okay after completing differentiation means if you know how to solve the problems of the differentiation then what is integration integration means anti-derivative opposite of that part if you know the formula of the differentiation then automatically you will get the formula of the integration also okay so you have to apply the formula for solving the problems of the integration in integration first of first which topic you have to start you have to start with the indefinite integrals after covering the indefinite integrals you will come to know how many models we are having how many TSRs, how many shortcuts are there for the indefinite integrals, then the same parts that then that same part we can apply for the definite integrals also. Okay, and the definite integral, the most important topic in the definite integrals is properties, properties of the definite integrals. With the help of the properties of the definite integrals, we can solve the question within less period of time. Understood? So first in the integration which topic you are covering? Indefinite integrals. After that, definite integrals. After that, applications of the integrals. So if you are covering these three topics means uh, you can score 7 to 8 marks from the integration. In integration, how many marks you can score? 7 to 8 marks. Okay. So first, uh, next part will be integration. So integration means uh, 7 to 8 marks. Now, first we have started with the matrices. Partial fractions and the logarithms, trigonometry, then differentiation, integration. So when you have started with the matrices means uh, easily you can score 4 to 5 marks in the matrices topic. Then second part, partial fractions and the logarithms means if you are covering this partial fractions and the logarithms, how many marks? How many marks? We can score easily 2 to 3 marks in this partial fractions and the logarithms also. Then you are going with the trigonometry. In the trigonometry formula will be important. Why we are taking this trigonometry? It is somewhat lengthy. It is somewhat lengthy, but if you are going with the topic wise, I have already said you which topics, from which topic we have to start, trigonometric functions, compound angles, multiples and submultiples, transformations, inverse trigonometry, then com complex numbers also, okay, that topics also included in this trigonometry. If you know, if you know that topics and if you are practicing according to that topic, as we are having the topic wise video lectures also, yes or no? After that part, you have to cover all the practice sets. After covering the practice sets, uh, then self test will be there, okay? You have to cover that part. So this trigonometry topic will be completed. The formula of the trigonometry will be used in differentiation as well as integration. If you are perfect in first order derivative, which topics you can cover? You can cover easily second and higher order derivative, partial derivative, applications of the derivatives. The next part, integration. What is integration? Differentiation means, uh, if you know the formula of the differentiation, integration means anti-differentiation, anti-derivative. If you know the formula of the differentiation, you, you will know the formula of the integration also. And you can solve the problems of the integration very easily. After completing this topic of the integration, which topic we can select? Which topic we can select? You can go with the analytical geometry over here. Okay, in this analytical geometry, straight lines will be there, circles, parabola, hyperbola, ellipse part will be there. If you know in that part also we are having the formulae. If you know the formulae, if you know the concept, if you know the formulae, then that questions also you can attempt. Okay, you can attempt very easily if you know the concept as well as the formulae of the topics of the analytical geometry. Okay, later on what we are taking? We are taking analytical geometry. Analytical geometry is of 5 to 6 marks. Now next part. After that, what we are taking means differential equations. Differential equations, it is also somewhat lengthy topic. It is of 7 to 8 marks, but you have to see the weightage also. If it is lengthy means the questions are also coming from that topic. 
so differential equations means uh, it is of 7 to 8 marks laplace transformation 5 to 6 marks fourier series now fourier series means uh, you can go with the fourier series first if you are going with the fourier series we are getting two questions from that and in that fourier series you will be hardly having uh, three to four formula two to three formula that's it only you have to find the fourier series a naught formula a n formula b n formula that's it if you know all that formula how to find out the series how to find out the value of a naught how to find out the value value of a n how to find out the value of b n if you know this part means then easily you can score two marks from the four year series also okay then later on what are the remaining topics over so laplace transforms is there differential equations is there then at last we can go with this topics okay so what i have told you first you can go with the matrices then second is partial fractions and the logarithms third is trigonometry differentiation integration analytical geometry then four year series differential equations laplace transforms this topics you can cover at the last okay now how you have to prepare from where you have to prepare first what what you should do means you should know the basics of that part okay first go with the basics first go with the formula of the topic after completing the basic and the formula of the topic means now what we are having we are having the practice sets in the app first complete that practice sets after completing that practice sets you have to write the self test also after writing the self test after writing the self test you will come to know at which level you are at what level you are in that topic after attempting the self test so after attempting the self test as you will come to know at what level you are how many marks you are getting how many questions you can attempt from the topic then you are getting some time for that part so in that time you have to be prepared in the topic again after after preparing in the topic then you have to attempt you have to write the special test also as we are having the mpsc mathematics physics chemistry mathematics also we are having special test we are having so three special test we are having then attempt that special test okay special test 1 special test 2 special test 3 after attempting that special test mock test are there four mock test mock test 1 2 3 4 after attempting the four mock test it is enough for that part it is enough for that topic understood if you are attempting the self test if you are attempting the special test if you are attempting the mock test the questions which are there in that test in that special test in that self test in that mock test that is enough for this topics if you are practicing all the test then you are writing the pre eset examination then that questions will be enough for scoring 30 plus marks 35 plus marks as well as i can say 40 plus marks also if you are covering all the test and at last you have to write the pre eset examination what you have tried you have tried the pre eset examination and you have to write that examination as you are writing the real examination actual examination you have to write like that okay so this was the weightage as well as 10 days preparation strategy for the mathematics which topics we have to start first which topics we have to do it later so this was the preparation strategy so go with this part so after completing this practice well practice and practice practice and practice okay so then only you will be perfect in this topics at last i'll say you all the best for the eset examination thank you